My Toddler's App Reader is an easy to use app for your toddler to watch pre-recorded book readings. Any family member can record themselves reading a book and then load it into Reader. The toddler then just has to touch the book cover on the main screen to enjoy the book. To get started, we're going to take a look at what is needed and where it's located. First, we're going to need a headshot photo of the reader and also a photo of the book cover, and finally the video recording of the book reading. These three items have to be located in the photo albums of the iPad with the Reader app. And there's basically two ways to get those items into your photo album. The first and the simplest is to just take the photos and videos on the iPad with the Reader app installed. The second is by transferring those items using iTunes, and you can do that a few ways. Um, the best thing to do would be just to Google transferring files using iTunes, but you can use services like Dropbox and iClouds to get those the videos and photos from any family member basically anywhere in the world, and then use iTunes to transfer them onto the iPad. Assuming that you already have a photo of the reader, this video clip shows how to take a photo of the book cover with the iPad and then crop it so the photo just has the book cover in it. In the corners and reduce it to the size you want. Say done. Okay, once you have it set up, then you simply um, want to fill the screen with the book and obviously start on page one and push record. Then you would acknowledge your toddler, in my case, my granddaughter, I would say, hi Nora, today we're gonna read Grandpa's wish list. And then you turn the page one at a time and read what's on there. And that's pretty much it. You save it to your iPad and it's available to load onto the my toddler's app. Reader. So earlier in the video we showed you how to create the content to add to My Toddler's App Reader. Now we're going to show you how to add that content and set up the app itself. When you open the app, this is the main page. And like all My Toddler's Apps apps, Reader is a combination app, meaning that you have the toddler side of the app, which you're looking at here, and the adult side of the app. And to access the adult side of the app, we have two buttons at the uh, top of the page. Set up on the right hand side, add on the left hand side. Now if you just touch these buttons, you'll get instructions. And what it's instructing is that we have added what's called gesture controls to those buttons so that it makes it more difficult for your toddler to access the adult side. So the first thing that we want to do is use the setup to customize the logo for your child. And the instruction said push setup and hold for five seconds, let it go, and it brings you to the logo setup page. The first step of the logo setup is to put in your toddler's name. And in this case, I'm going to put in my granddaughter's name, Nora. And then it asks you to choose a photo of your toddler and it's very simple to do and you can see the representation of the logo already changing we now have the toddler's name and the toddler's photo there the last step is to choose a background and text color and to do that you use these simple rotating text wheels called picker wheels and I'm going to make the background color hot pink you can choose from over 20 colors for the background over 10 colors for the text and I'm going to use purple and you say done and it brings you back to the main page and you can see that the logo has been customized and it will stay this way unless you go back into setup and change it. Okay now we're going to add the book content that we showed you how to create earlier and if you touch the button, the add button, it simply says to tap the button three times quickly and then follow the instructions. So we'll do that. And it brings you to this book adding page. And the first step is to choose the book that you want to add. We're going to choose book number one. 
Step number two is to choose a photo of the cover and we took that photo and we're going to choose it right there. Third step is to choose a photo of the reader and in this case it's grandpa who read the book so we'll choose grandpa and the final step is to choose the video of the recording and we know it's the moon in you is the book that we read so we're gonna use that and the software goes through a compression stage where it compresses and saves this video to the app itself so if you had cleared the video off of your uh, photo albums it would still be in this app so we have to wait a couple minutes for this to compress and when it compresses it will take us back to the add a book page okay we're getting close uh, should switch over any second now back to the add a book page there she goes now we can um, preview the book that we've just chosen by pushing that preview button takes you to the video page and that looks like the right one so we're going to say done uh, we can do one other thing on this add a book page uh, which I want to touch on before we go back to the the main page and that's you can watch this instruction video by just choosing this so the instructions are always with the app okay so we chose the book that we wanted to um, switch over we chose the book cover we chose a photo of the reader and we chose the video so now we just say done we come back to the main page and you'll see that book number one now has the book cover photo that we chose and this is what your child will see your toddler so all they have to do is touch on the book cover the reader photo shows up in the top right hand corner and then the video plays reading the book we'll let this play for a few seconds and I'll show you two last features I see the moon, our moon, each night, and know you dream by moonbeams bright. So, on the top, there's a pause button that you can pause at any time, or your toddler can pause at any time if they want to look at the photos that are on the, the book page. There's also a rewind button if they wanted to go back to the previous page. This button takes you back five seconds in time and you can hit it multiple times to take you back to the beginning of the book push the play button and you can start from wherever you went back to so then the last button is the home button and that takes you back to the main page and that's about it hopefully you enjoy